Ela. Supposed to know Ella was going to give me a surprise birthday party. Well, you wonder that's the whole point. You were caught spanking the monkey, red face, fine, that case, please. Something like that. <laughs> Wish these buggers would hurry up. I just don't know why people can't be more tolerant. <laughs> Some men love other men. Some men love their mothers. I love melons. <laughs> the people shouldn't knock a thing before I've tried it. You don't need to snog a melon, do you? Or, or, or take it out of dinner? Well, cos for me, folk, melon is dinner, and that's the end of it. I mean, you know, that's what there is to it, you know. Aye, 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 aye. But even scum like us can afford to run you a bit of fruit wrap. You see, a melon, a brown paper bag is it's like a mink coat. In fact, the mere I'm all at the mere I think I should be hanging about with exotic produce in their oven. I wish you'd take a wee stroll up Safeways and... Jamesy, you could shut up home with a hand of bloody bananas for all I care. Now, this, this here is the most important matter in my life at the minute, and I, I just quite like to compose myself. You know what I'm saying? What's your big deal? It's just... Mr Nesbitt, I'm ready for you now. The snap. Just kidding. <laughs> She's a wee peach. She? At least I get something right in my life, eh, Gash? You certainly did, pet. Now, can we get rid of that third year or is that there for keeps? Eh? <laughs> Bastard. Hey, that'd be a good name for her, wouldn't it? Bastard Lesbit. Don't be daft. She's a lassie, ain't she? Bastard Days. Come here to your mammy, Bastard Days. There you go. Hiya. Hiya. She's beautiful. And she wee peaches. Oh, she's gorgeous, isn't she? You can just eat her all up. Well, you can if you like, because we're fed up with her already. I leave the bones for the middle and we'll get a Canary instead. Oh, yes. <laughs> you know what I mean for her yet? Aye, well, we were going to call her after my sister, but the Wicked Witch of the West seemed a bit of a mouthful. Ah, so we decided to go for something that reflects her fun-loving lifestyle. Da, eh, what do you reckon to speed? Speed? It's a female, innit? But crack not be more appropriate. Oh, shut up, if you can't say anything pleasant, then don't say anything at all. It's all right by you, lady. You're not sitting here using your balls for a cushion. Oh, don't be so dramatic. It's only the snip. Oh, aye. For a man, it's a snip. It's a music hall joke. But if it happens to a woman, it's sterilisation and then they're counselling for 40 years. <laughs> oh, it's the same thing, though, doesn't it? Game over. I am now a weed in the herbaceous border of life. Oh, cheer up, da. I've got spunk enough for both years. Oh, you stop that language in front of the wane. As a matter of fact, we have thought of a name. Have you? What is it? Peaches. Peaches? <laughs> Peaches Nesbitt? <laughs> hey, what do you reckon, Dad? Well, you may as well keep it in the family. After all, our grandfather's got balls like plums. Exactly. <laughs> Grandfather. Now, you're going to come over here and see your granddaughter. I'd need a bloody cheerlift to get her that flair than you. Anyway, I've seen newborns before. Face like an arse, shite at one end, dribbles at the other. Oh, she's a lovely wee lassie. Well, in that case, shite at both ends once she starts to talk. 
<laughs> Don't you worry about him, Hen. He's just a bitter old has-been at the fag end of life. Aye, the cojones like two prunes in a string bag. <laughs> <laughs> now, uh, uh, listen, Mo. Um, any chance of you looking after her for a couple of hours? It's just uh, Bridie's pals have laid on a wee celebration bevy for us. Aye, my dad's going to be there, so we don't want to take any chances. He's never been into preview peasants, but after a few pints, he's been known to pour jam down his trousers and kneel in the dog basket. Know what I'm saying? Aye, all right, all right, I catch your drift. On you go. Me and your dad will look after her. We've had plenty of practice. Hey, thanks, Mo. Let's go. Oh, oh, watch now, watch now. Sorry, Dad. Couple of raisins on the carpet there. Didn't you want to step in them in case you got shooting pains, no? <laughs> <laughs> Cheerio. Ta-da. Oh, Rav. She's lovely. I can't wait to show her off. You want to nip round with me, Alice? No. Nah. Right, come round to Andrews? No. Nah. Ach, come to think it, Evdy will probably be in the pub. Get my jacket. <laughs> <laughs> Look, everybody! Cassie's new baby! Oh, she's beautiful. Isn't she gorgeous? Look, everybody! Rab's new vasectomy! Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Bottom line, Nesbitt, was it sore? Well, for the first couple of years, it's, it's like as if you've stood in the way and Alan Shearer free kick, but apart from that, I've no pain at all. And tell me, Rab, is it um, back to normal? Oh, yes, oh, yes, pee up high walls, pick your bum out, all the old favourites. <laughs> hey, help. Uh, I think what the small honey monster meant, Rab, was can it dip? Dip? Well... As you know, I'm a married man, so appropriate test conditions have not yet arisen, but speak to me around about the next World Cup, if they qualify, and I'll furnish you with an answer. No. No, that's merry pub banter, Rab. The boys have turned serious now. What do you mean? What do you mean? We need answers, Rab. After all, you're our guinea pig at the cutting edge of dick technology. Well, you go today, Nesbitt. We go tomorrow. Aye, maybe even tonight. Rab? What? How's your balls? <laughs> you should know, you had them last. It wasn't about you, I wouldn't be in this position today. What, resting in your own home with a brand new gorgeous wee granddaughter? I know Spartacus isn't he in it, is he? Look, do you want a cup of tea? Aye, so what she can do. Two sugars and four Viagras. I'm going to dip you until it glows the night, lady. <laughs> That's it, Rab. You just keep that charm coming, eh? It's always melted my drawers off in the past, isn't it? Uh, bitch. <laughs> Harry? Harry? All right. <laughs> I'm your grandpa, Rab. And if you can cope with that without pissing yourself, you'll do for me, eh? <laughs> well, you're an ugly wee bastard, aren't you? <laughs> Mind you, I was ugly when I was your age, you know. <laughs> Look at me now, eh? Here I go. Rab? What? Bring your tea, that's all. Right. What are you doing up with the pram? Well, I was whimpering, I just went up and gave it a look as if I was going to bat it in the jaw, you know, I shouldn't have done that. I'm going past you. Oh, look, Rab, that's two o'clock, and you're no back yet. I'm going to take my tea into my bed. Going to watch the wane for us. What? Oh, well, if it's too much trouble, don't bother. Yeah, 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 there's enough whining coming for that pram without you joining in. There you go, bugger off. Thanks, Rab. It shouldn't be too long. <laughs> Me back again. <laughs> <sighs> But you do. 
She's got for a bottle. Don't mention her tea. Some babysitter your Ma? is. Ma? That's no ma. That's big eat the breed. You know what? I think he likes her. How's she sleeping these days? Great. Oh, he hits the pillar and lats her away. Oh. Do you hear that, Rob? Is that no marvellous? Go oh, on. A week old and she can shut her eyes and dribble. She's I've been doing that all my life. <laughs> I've never put it on my CV either. Go on, Moy. Come on, Moy, what did you say? I don't know. Just for a couple of hours till we go and see the spook about the christening. The spook? What spook? Satan's servant. Beelzebub's brother. Oh, we've got to bring her up to worship the devil and all his work. Did we no mention? No. Nah. Just for the first 20 years, then we'll step back and let her make up her own mind. Oh, my God! It's a wind up, you daft bitch. <laughs> yes! Oh, where you go, the Perry? Hurry up! Ah, oh, cheers, Ma. Crap. I've got a dirty big washing today and I've all the messages to get in. Going to watch the wind for us. Hey, Connor. I'm getting up to the hospital and my balls looked it. What for? Well, all being well, they'll shine them up with brass, you know what I mean? That's the way they'll get the exercise, isn't it? Oh, would you stop feeling sorry for yourself? I had to look after the contraception for years, didn't I? Crossing your legs and shouting shod off hardly falls into the same anatomical weed, does it? Look, I'm not going to argue with you. Are you going to look after the way that you know? No. I don't know. Your very own brand new gorgeous wee granddaughter, eh? Oh, all right. Thanks, sir. Are you in for mere tight ass pills? <laughs> All right, Ellen. Oh, hello, Rab. Good to see you there. Yes, you back again, eh? Your got treatment still not working. <laughs> Always the joker, eh, Rab? <laughs> Mr. Nesbitt. That's me, boss. That's me. That's me. <clears throat> oh, by the way, if any of you are in for a vasectomy, don't boil your ass for fish. I had one last week and look what happens. <laughs> Spend the money on a holiday and a very right good hum shank. That's my advice. When you're ready, Mr. Nesbitt. Aye, aye, I'm coming, I'm coming. <laughs> so tell me, how'd it go? Very well, thanks. I've got balls like walnuts. The nurses is tickled pink. Who's talking to you? Oh, forgive me. I made the mistake of thinking I still had a pulse there. <laughs> and I got the arm. Ugh, ignore him. It went great. We met the spook. He goes to me, Do you believe in the Lord God and his son, Jesus Christ? I go, Certainly. As long as he keeps his neb out of my business, live and let live. Then he said the same to Gash. I kind of hesitate to ask, but what did you tell him? The truth. Said I was an atheist. I might be wrong, son. I mean, I've no formal religious training, but it seems to me if you want your daughter brought up a Christian, then a basic belief in God is a kind of minimal entrance requirement, no? Not in here. But take what they get in here. I mean, buy an Easter egg and you're practically canonized, you know? Shut it, you. Right, guys, come on. Bottom line. Game on. We've got ourselves a Christmas. <laughs> Let's celebrate. We're going to have a pre-party party. party. Eh? <laughs> I, I see, that's what we've been meaning to ask you, Mo. See, uh, we're going to her dad's. It's just for a small bender. Uh, you think you might? Nah, no way. Rab? What? Watch the wane. We're away to wet the baby's head, then her neck, then immerse her entire body in cheapo sherry. Come on! <laughs> Thanks a lot. For somebody that's no good, you're no bad. Pops. Uh, aye. No taking her up the pub. What can I louse you take me for? You know, Rab, I've been thinking. Having a vasectomy is quite a courageous new millennium man thing to do, really, isn't it? When's she got you booked in? Fortnight. 
No, 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 no. We talked about it, and in the end, we both agreed that I should... Do as you're told. <laughs> Covers it for me. What can you do? Once I've got their sights set, uh... I'm lucky. Isa's got me penciled in for a heart attack sometime next year. So she'd like three more twins like last time, as insurance, just in case. <laughs> How the hell do you get three twins? You should have seen the one with the head. A butt string between its ears, you'd a turn up lantern. And I'd, I'd like your advice about something. Sure, what? It's Ella. She's having an affair with a guy for up the allotments. How do you know? She gave me this note. Dear Jim Jam, having an affair with a guy from up the allotment. <laughs> she enclosed this tomato as evidence. Gee, yo. Oh. That's a bit brazen, isn't it? Do you think it's maybe double bluff? Ah, we've been married 20 years. We started a double bluff. So we're looking at least at a triple. Which means that. Ah, I like it. Why isn't here? That's my granddaughter greeting, Jimsy. It's actually time for a walk, you know. You'll get some thought, will you? Aye, sure, Jimsy, sure, but anybody, just leave it with me. This is Nesbitt country. As far as the eye can cry. Your grandpa was brought up in about here. I, I used to chalk on this very street, you know. Oh, yes. See, if I was a mother, I used to chalk in extra bodies just to piss off a CID. You, know? <laughs> you had to make your own entertainment in them days. <laughs> Go on. I should feel quite a heavier. Dead stones. Dead stones. <laughs> <laughs> oh, everywhere you look, a Nesbitt at regular intervals. <laughs> Great thinkers will tell you that's why we people have children, in order to cheat death. No, if you're scum, of course. If you're scum, you have children, so you can have somebody to run for the fags and the milk, you know. <laughs> oh, you can't cheat death. You just... They've just got to go with a flow. <sighs> Grandpa's no sleep, by the way, and he's just kind of resting his eyes, you know. Just resting his eyes. Lost her? What do you mean you've lost her? Well... One minute I had her next. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. All right, all right, all right. Just keep the heat, keep the heat. Worst things can happen. Then losing your win? All right, lose the heat, lose the heat. <laughs> yes, me. He's behind it. He's never liked to win. That's garbage. I love that win. It's you I don't like. <laughs> what the hell are you doing? I'm born in a bolus. Oh, don't do that. For God's sake, are you mad? I don't know. Well, they'll blame us, won't they? I mean, we're scum, and we look like inbreeds. <laughs> they'll assume we've eaten them, they'll start digging up the floorboards. But we're innocent. I know, but that's where I keep my drugs. I'm telling you, Da, see if we don't get the wane back. I'll swing for you. Do you worry, son. If we don't get that wane back, I'll swing for myself. My family? My family? I know, Hen, at times like this, you need your family. No, no, that. There's only one set of bastards mental enough to do something like this, and that's me. But, but I'm your sister. I love you. Cut the crap. You've always been trusted. Oh, I like that. You just bait them in and suddenly you're suspect. Ah, company. <laughs> company? Are you sure you've got the right hoose? Da, I've got some bad news. The bean's vanished. Oh, no, I've just got a new suit for the christening. <laughs> oh, for God's sake, Dan, show me about sensitivity. I am right. I should have remembered how I felt when I lost her mother. 
I got her back again. She just nicked out for a loaf, but gave me a bag twenty minutes. You know? <laughs> what are you going to do? I don't know. As long as we don't get in daft. Too late. I've done it. I phoned the police. Oh my God. So, <clears throat> there's just one thing still puzzles me, Mr. Nesbitt. Why did you leave it so long before you reported this? Well, I didn't want to waste him this time, did I? I wanted to exhaust every avenue of failure before I finally gave up and came to you. Do you think you'll find her? We'll do everything within our power. Well, take that as I know, then, eh? <laughs> Please excuse my husband, officer. He's had a very stressful day. Plus, he's an ignorant arse. That's all right, Mrs Nesbitt. We're trained in the handling of such matters. I dare say it's been a stressful and traumatic time for all of you. That's reassuring to know. Good. So in that case, you'll no mind if we dig up the flare board, you criminal bastard. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Already done it. It's queer what can happen in a day, isn't it? And obviously, it's all my bloody fault. At least the God did snatch me instead of her. Then at least we'd know who we were looking for, you know. An 18 stone frustrated mother that wasn't choosy. <laughs> all we know is she's out there somewhere. Where are you supposed to look? Where do you look? <laughs> A melon, you say? A melon. On the doorstep, first thing this morning. What does the note say? This is an anonymous tip-off, but if there's any reward, please contact James Cotter, 5 Institution <laughs> Street, Brown. in the hole. Oh. It's an address. Looks like I'll not be needing these after all. Oh. Right, <sighs> She really is quite gorgeous, isn't she? She's got grandma's eyes. And her grandpa's ass. <laughs> <laughs> Thank God she doesn't have to wear it for a face like I do. <laughs> and who are the godparents? Oh, we couldn't manage to lay our hands on anybody normal, so we managed to get a couple of dog parents. That's the dog father. All right. And that's the dog mother. It, honest, I'm no shagging him. It's just family. <laughs> uh, sadly, his uh, wife cannot be with us today. She is uh, at present finger painting in a medium risk twilight zone near Motherwell. Yes. <laughs> Leaving me tragically alone, but open to offers. Afraid not, Jamesy. She's got a bloody cheek. Oh, shut it, you. Well, Mary. Rab. Yeah. Couldn't your family get his elders back? <laughs> what can I say? Hands up. I didn't heed her off the deep end. I, I was being treated for depression. Mind that time I met you up in the hospital, Rab? 
It was just a wee Lenny, that's all. I'd have brung her back. I'd like to thank you too for no pressing charges. Nee bother, Ella. After all, why lose a good babysitter? Babysitter? Oh, why no? By the look at it, Ella must really like the wean. Otherwise, she would never have kidnapped her. Aye, it's a compliment, really. Round here, she could have had picked for thousands. Is that wisdom, Mary? Is the world not talking to its ass? Changing time, Sab. What can you do? Get this. Well, it's no doctor spot, but it'll do for me. What? Done it all, eh? Marriage, wains, grand wains. What next? Oh, a couple of hip replacements, heart attack, two arms on the mantelpiece. <laughs> How's that gonna have you? Oh, uh, better make key while we can, eh? You game? Oh, I suppose so. <laughs> I warn you, you'd better be good. Honeydews are in season right now. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.